Hello and welcome to Estoril for the start of the 2016 Euro Formula Open season. Eight rounds and 16 races will decide who is going to be crowned this year's champion. With a full field of rookies and returning drivers, the action promises to be very, very close indeed. Let's see how this weekend unfolds. It was always going to be an exciting start to the Euro Formula Open season and so it proved in race one. Campos Racing's Leonardo Pulcini, who got the jump, the line behind there was drama as Cauldron and Patak collided with both drivers retiring on the spot. Round on the first lap, Jack Aitken and Colton Hurt also came into contact and the American slamming into the Armco barrier, Aitken able to continue the RP Motorsport entry. That allowed Pulcini and Ferdinand Habsburg to break clear at the front of the field. Aitken meanwhile had to limp back to the pits, he was able to get back into the fray. So some over ambition further down the field from BVM's Yi Hong Lee, but fortunately no harm done. The drivers anxious to make a mark in the early stage of the season. One driver who certainly did that was Igor Wilko in the Fortec car. Wilko compensating for a difficult qualifying session by absolutely charging on through the pack. The driver who made the overtaking business look easy was Kevin Andres. Carlin squad he was also able to side up through the field. There was a good scrap for third as Diego Menchaca held off Damiano Fiavaranti, but the pair of them were some way distant of Leonardo Pulcini for his second career race victory. Nero formed their open and made the perfect start to the season. It was next in second place, a rookie win for Ferdinand Habsburg, and Charka doing a fine job to hold on to third, two Campos cars onto the overall rostrum. Life for Pulcini and the perfect start to the season. Up to the same Ferdinand Habsburg, first rookie winner of 2016. Very good start for me for the season and for the team. Uh, first and third place for us, so it's an amazing um, start here yeah, for us. And we start uh, very fast uh, since uh, Thursday in the team, uh, always P1, also this morning qualifying and now in the race. But we will push hard as, as, uh, as much as possible for tomorrow. Are you the favourite for the championship? I don't know, but uh, now now we see it seems like this. On to race two and Jack Aitken had a point to prove after Saturday's disappointment, converting pole position into the early advantage as the pack charged towards turn one. Meanwhile, Fiavaranti and Menchaca picked up exactly where they left off, but this time it was the Italian who was able to get the jump on the Mexican. Behind Kevin Andres was pushing just a little bit too hard early on several drivers to find the dirt. With the rescue, Nikita's lobby for the Terra Martin Motorsport team was about carving their way through the pack. I was all looking to make ground in the early stages, taking was maybe just a little bit easier. So pushing, overstepping the mark, Yi Hong Lee, but he wasn't alone amongst the BVM drivers to have some adventures along the way because Daniel Fronenko, super move on Tanel Safi and Thiracle, he looked to carve up through the field. Then the Pulcini wasn't quite a repeat of Saturday, but nonetheless a very strong second place, giving him the early championship advantage. Jack Aitken, however, this was as dominant a performance you'll see in the Euro Formula Open, a comfortable victory from the reigning Formula Renault 2 litre Euro Cup champion. He took the win, put RP Motorsport back onto the top step of the Euro Formula Open rostrum. Second place went to Pulcini. Damiano Fiavranti held off the race long challenge from Diego Menchaca round out the rostrum. If in the road, top rookie Colton Herter who made amends for race one disappointment, claiming rookie honours. Celebration time however, for Jack Aitken, leaving the applause of the team as he celebrated at the top of the Estrel rostrum. Likewise for Colton Herter, top rookie Clifford Ferdinand Habsburg and Kevin Andres. Next stop for the Euro Formula Open, Spa. It wasn't easy. No, I mean, the, it's a very challenging track, and it's um, it's uh, it's quite a quick car, so it was quite a challenge to stay focused and um, keep putting the laps in. But it was nice to see Leonardo getting smaller and smaller in the mirror. So um, obviously, a really good race, and the car was perfect. So thanks to RP. Good job. And you look set for 
being one of the top contenders this season? Maybe, yeah. Uh, who knows? We at the moment it's just a one-off, but if we come back for sure, um, it could be could be one of the uh, one of the contenders, like you say.